In today's tutorial, you'll learn how to create this flat vector illustration in Adobe Fresco in just a few steps. The first step is to open up a new document. I'm using the portrait template and start with the sketch of the illustration. For that, I'll pick the Blake pen brush from the ink panel, test it out. If you want to undo, tap with two fingers and it will go away. This flat illustration will be a portrait of a girl. I recommend looking for references if you want to sketch something and use that as inspiration. If you want to follow along in Adobe Fresco or Illustrator, you can download my sketch and the final vector files, the link is in the description of this video. Try to be loose with your lines and aim to simplify any features of the character you're drawing, as we'll create a stroked outline of the whole thing and then add a couple of solid colors under it. Lower the opacity of that layer, create a new one on top and it's time to start adding the outline using a vector brush. You can use the basic round one, Open up the brush settings panel and make sure to have pressure dynamics disabled. Before moving forward, we do need to start defining the color scheme as well. For the outline, I'll use a dark blue, the hair will be light blue, the face a light orange, and the background a light pink. If you watch any of my previous videos, you know that I like using the monoline brush to create the outline for these types of illustrations and this gives me just that. Honestly, I absolutely love the way it smooths out these paths. This is exactly what I was missing with Procreate like having the ability to draw vectors that are smooth. The only thing you have to get used to is the fact that the path is actually trailing behind the position of the pen, so it has time to correct the curve. In the beginning, I really didn't understand how to take advantage of it, but afterwards I started noticing that this also gives me the ability to correct the curves myself, as I can actually draw a bit off what I was initially going for and still get the cool looking path. It's a very weird concept to explain, but I hope that you can try it out for yourself and do let me know if you like the way it works. What blew my mind is that you can use the selection tool just as you would with the raster image and once I erased that part of the outline, the fact that all of the other paths remained vectors, like, it, it was amazing. Let's create a new layer underneath the outline and for the next step we'll need to define the shapes that make the hair and the face. Start with the hair, try to use the outline as a reference but for this particular style I recommend actually going in and out of it to actually have an offset to the shape. Drawing within the lines could definitely be done easier by just filling out those shapes with colors, but this also gives it a more unique look. Take the fill bucket and tap once. I do think these kinds of apps are the next step for illustrators, as I've only used Procreate before this and I heard a lot of good things about Affinity Designer. It's interesting to see how the success of these apps made Adobe finally pay attention to the mobile design space. If they add the pen tool to Adobe Fresco, then well, this might make it a real competition for those apps. Also, one thing to note is that you can actually import your Photoshop brushes, which brings me to the question, where can I have vector brushes in the app? This combined with the ability to correct paths using the pen tool would definitely be interesting. Let's go back to the tutorial. And using the same color as the outline, it's time to define some shapes that make up the details and the shadow portions of this illustration. I'm imagining the light coming from the top left corner and adding shadows below the nose, mouth, neck and t-shirt. Of course, this is a stylized drawing, so you can add some variations to the shadows like these waves. The final shape will be placed under all of the other ones and it's going to be a pink one. Uh, this is done to add some kind of separation with the white background and it should help with the contrast. Let's fill it in and this is the final look of the vector illustration. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video so more people can see it and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.